Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, I will be doing a full review on SoundDraw. SoundDraw.io, it just came out. It's literally been out for like a week and uh, it is an AI, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, music generation software. Now there are other um, platforms like this out on the market. Um, I have gone out and tested a couple of them. One is called Boomi and I've tested that one out. And then I've also come in here. I signed up for a free account on SoundDraw and I was very, very impressed. And I didn't want to be limited by the, um, of course, with free trials, they're very limiting. So I went ahead and went back over to right now, uh, AppSumo and picked up the lifetime deal for $69. This is customized AI generated royalty free music for original tracks that make your project stand out. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. And I'm going to show you all about it. We're going to create some music together. Uh, now this, uh, they're saying that this is an alternative to art list. I haven't used them before epidemic sound. I do know about them and Amper music, but also if you type in AI generated, uh, music, Boomi shows up even, uh, above, uh, above sound draw. Uh, but I have went out and tested that out. And so far, um, just immediate impressions. I like the interface and usability of sound draw already. Um, not to take anything away from Boomi and others, uh, but just, uh, saying that the, um, artificial intelligence and the music that gets sp spit out is really pretty quite impressive on sound draw. Uh, so you can come through here. Uh, they have a, a, a video, uh, for you as well. But really, when I come down here, um, just a couple of things to point out before we jump into the review. Now, uh, this is d different than Boomi. Now, if you want to get into music generation to actually submit to the YouTube, uh, YouTube content ID, so you can actually claim uh, copyright on this for or uh, make money by submitting it to the YouTube um uh, sound or music uh, library, you cannot do that with uh, sound draw. So that is kind of like the, the, where you draw, uh, that's where you draw a line in the sand. Um, if that's what you're looking for, then this wouldn't be the software for you. But if you are uh, creating videos for YouTube or need music for your business or tutorial videos or, um, educational uh, courses, any of that stuff, SoundDraw would be perfect for you. And it is royalty free. So like, you can still use this and put it on YouTube videos and you will not get a, a copyright strike. Uh, Sound, uh, SoundDraw does uh, own the, the copyrights, but they're not going to claim uh, copyrights, uh, if that makes sense, on YouTube. So you're free to use this and actually monetize. You're actually able to monetize your YouTube channels as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. Um, and if you want to pick this up, go click the link below. It helps out the channel. It helps out LearnWire so I can bring more tutorials like this and more uh, software reviews. This is a lifetime deal for $69 and you'll get 50 downloads per day. Uh, says it right here. Uh, you'll get 50 songs per day. I mean, you, you really, I don't see why you would need more than that. So they're being very generous there. And so let's jump in real quick. All right. So, um, right now I like the layout of the software. Uh, when you come in here, I like how you can, you get, go for music for vlogs, uh, corporate games, jingles are coming soon. That sounds, seems really, really cool. You could actually sell services on Fiverr. You can sell uh, your services on Fiverr. Just make sure that you put in there all the licensing terms that SoundDraw has, that they're free to use it, commercial use, all that good stuff. They just wouldn't be able to actually put upload this to Spotify or YouTube to actually claim and, and get paid for that. Um, but there's, there's plenty of things that you can do with this software. Uh, so you have happy, exciting, peaceful, dramatic, relaxing, and emotional. Uh, so there's the f different moods, video themes. And so what's really cool, you can come over here to the length and you can actually go up to five minutes, uh, which is really, really cool. I'm just going to stick with the three minute length right now, the standard. And then we're going to go with relaxing because I know relaxing is a popular uh, niche on uh, YouTube. And I'm thinking about actually creating a YouTube channel um, under that category, relaxing. Um, because people just really like to go to YouTube and just kind of listen to relaxing music, um, study music, things like that uh, on YouTube while they are, um, either relaxing or meditating or uh, studying on their computer. So we're going to come over here, uh, select tempo. And because it's relaxing, I want to go with slow. So I'm going to go like that. Um, I like how you can do these pre uh, sets before you actually even create music. 
you're going to select the instrument. And so for me, I'm going to go, I'm going to take off electric guitar. That's not very soothing and relaxing. I don't want any voice in this. I like strings and acoustic. Synthesizer's gone and that looks good. So we're going to go there and then genre. I'm going to take off hip hop um, for this one, corporate pop and the cinema. I'm going to take cinematic. I'm going to take that off as well. So I want to focus on orchestra and uh, acoustic this time. And then what you do after that is you just cr create, uh, click this create music button. So we are creating music and what sound draw does is it goes out there and it automatically always as a standard creates. F oh, that is incredible how fast it is. Uh, I will say that um, it's kind of cool. I'm kind of glad that I went and checked out some other uh, AI generation softwares before this. One of them was boomy. Um, it took, um, you know, it can take up to 60 seconds for it to even create one song. Sound draw just created 15 songs in a matter of like 10 seconds. So, um, I do like the speed at which this is creating. It gives you the beats per minute and the length. They're all within around three minutes. And if it's using a piano or acoustic and all that, it did throw in a cinematic there, uh, which we did not select that, but, um, it threw in a couple cinematics. That's okay. So we can go and then it starts you off with 15 automatically. And now you can go and just start sampling them. That one sounds really good. And you can even fast forward to different parts. See where it picks up right over here. Let's see what it sounds like there. That's where the drums come in. That, this sounds really, really good. So if um, you can stop, you can actually go into editing. I want to sample a few more first and then uh, you can download from there. You can um, go to uh, add to keep, or if you like this one, but you want a little different variation, you can click this create similar music. Let's go ahead and look at a couple more. This is more like motivational type music. This is cool. A little loud, but we can adjust stuff like that in the next step. A little bit too much drums for me. We're looking for relaxing. It, it's doing a really good job with cinematic music. I will point that out. It, uh, so far, it's not really doing a whole lot um, with relaxing, but that's better. That's a better start. Emotional piano. That one's pretty good. So let's go with the emotional piano. I, I want to take the beats per minute down. So we're going to go ahead and edit this music right here. I did like this first track over here. I want to go ahead and add to keep. So it's just going to go to keep and you can see a little dot there. That's really cool. Then when you open up the editor, it's going to go in and it's going to actually uh, create all these different blocks over here. We can change the volume of different things, uh, drums, because we're doing relaxing music. I'm going to take the drums way down to maybe even there. And then we'll look at the rest of it. You can change the key. Uh, I'm going to go with just the key that it's naturally in right now. Uh, instruments, we can go in and adjust the instruments right here, which is super cool. I like how you're able to do all this from one screen. They have a really, really good, I give them an A, at least an A, possibly an A plus for the user interface on the software in comparison with Boomi or others. Uh, because you don't have to flip flop in between different screens. Uh, you can actually see live what you actually are doing and make changes immediately from one screen. I really, really like that. So we're going to go to beats per minute and I'm going to take this down to 70. So this one's saying the 70 is the lowest that it's willing to go on this one. Now I did do some testing before I made the review and uh, I was able to, on some tracks, it'll uh, allow you to go into 60 uh, or 60 beats per minute. So I'm not really sure why you're not able, why I'm not able to select 60 right here. Uh, there might be a question mark here. You can change the tempo of the song. The smaller the number, the slower the tempo and the larger the number, the faster the tempo. Yeah, we know that. Um, and then length, we can adjust the length as well. So now what we can do is I'm going to go ahead and push play. And you can see it's doing the first 13 seconds here, and then it's going to flip over to the next block over here. And by here, by clicking that, we clicked on drums. 
So the drums are going to come in a little bit. And then right here, the, the bass just came in right there. But the bass is really loud, so I'm going to go over here to... Yeah, bass. I'm going to take the volume over here on bass and take that down, right? So we took the bass down as well. Okay, so then right here, a little, mm, maybe add the drums in. There we go. And then it just brought in the bass. So you can see how you can just add the different blocks. It's super easy to edit this, right? So I like that. It's an emotional piano. Um, I would like it to be a little bit slower. Uh, we're still working on that. We're gonna go and do a, a couple more tests, but let's go ahead and just say uh, keep on this one. So right over here, we're just gonna go ahead and push the um, add to keep. All right, so then now let's go back over here. Let's just go right over to peaceful. Um, if we select a different one, um, oh, I see what you wanna do. So you wanna go over to peaceful and then we're still going to uh, stick with slow. We're going to stick with, let's just see what it does when we select all those, the ones that it wants to select. And then genre, um, let's just, um, I don't, uh, rock is not gonna be peaceful. Um, and let's just see what it creates right here. So create music and now watch, it's going to go out there and do a full other 15 songs for us. You can see it's very, very fast within 10 seconds and it created our 15 songs again. So let's push play. <laughs> now I will, I will say that that's not peaceful but it sure sounds really good. I like the music that it's creating. This is just as good as the ones you're gonna find on other royalty-free um, or stock music websites or the YouTube um, music library. Uh, that one's really cool. It's making me want to push the ad to keep it because it just is so cool. I love the percussion going on right there. That one could be a cool one for a song or for a promo video. And it just created this. And it's saying that 99.999% um, every single song is going to be unique and never used again uh, because this is an artificial intelligence using, it is using an algorithm that is putting together different beats and uh, beats per minute and instruments and keys and volumes and um, all kinds of different backings, tracks and bass and all that. And it's, uh, and then different genres of music and it's, creating everything very, very quickly. And there, if you can imagine, there's so many different variations that they're putting in this algorithm. And when uh, they have this algorithm, this uh, really awesome algorithm created with the click of a button, that's why they're able to go out there and create 15 songs in five seconds, because uh, there's millions and millions of variations uh, possible. So you're not going to, no two people are going to create the same song, which is super uh, exciting. So this is a lot more peaceful. I like this. And it's see, this is at 66 beats per minute. So this is what I'm talking about. This is really, really good. And I want to... This one's really good. Little bit of drum. Um, and what we can do is push the edit button over here. And then what we can do is go to beats per minute and we can even go slower. So you see this one, it just depends on, um, probably just depends on a combination of a bunch of the different tracks if you're allowed to, and maybe there's even a little bit of music theory going on in here. Uh, but, um, that probably has to do with the, um, availability of the beats per minute. So we're going to go down to 62 beats per minute and we're going to leave the rest. It's going to go ahead and uh, reload and then we're going to push play. Now that is peaceful. So you're just gonna have to fool around with it a little bit, but it, this software is extremely impressive. I'm very happy with my purchase. And if you want to make uh, unlimited AI music like this and use it for all your projects, use it for your uh, YouTube videos, use it for your business, 
uh, for you can you can use this for corporate use uh, training videos and um, it's important I just want to point this out one more time that these tracks are you every one of them will be unique and when you use them on your YouTube uh, channel um, they do uh, show that you can monetize your uh, YouTube um, videos let me and see where that uh, where it says that at here's the um, home page of sound draw uh, and I believe it's based out of um, ja Japan or China but um, that does it, they have a really good English version of everything you can actually select English or um, <laughs> I think that's Japanese um, and they, they, they do have plugins. Uh, the plugin is not working on the latest After Effects, I believe, of what I heard. Uh, so that they are fixing that by November, just FYI. And then there's also, I don't know, I'm not going to do a, a review of the, uh, the Google Chrome uh, plugin. But um, so just to finish up the review um, right here by scrolling through here, there's tutorial videos and testimonials. And here the pricing is going to be $200 a year or uh, $20 a month, but um, you can get the lifetime deal by clicking the link below and not have to worry about paying ever again. So here is the important part I wanted to, that it is on their homepage, YouTube okay, monetization okay, commercial use okay, podcast okay, and game okay. So just because you don't have the um, actual license um, under your name, it's going to be under sound draws name. Um, it's pretty normal when you're publishing a book or anything, the copyright is going to be from the actual source that it was created from, but that is not going to affect you being able to use this or make money from the software. So that's it from my review. I give this a, um, I really give this like a nine or a 10 out of 10. And this is sound draw AI, artificial intelligence, uh, music software. It's only going to get better, better and better. And I think that, um, I will say that uh, for a, a product that just released, I also heard that they had over about a half a million dollars in funding for this project. And you can tell, uh, with what they've put into this, but when these softwares come out, they're not always perfect when they first come out. Um, this one, I think they did a really good job launching this to market, um, with a ready to go, uh, platform. There's not, I didn't really see any bugs, um, in my initial testing. So go check it out. Uh, pick it up with the link below. And I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. So you get more reviews from me. See you next time.